so hi it's been so long since i've actually like did a video actually i've never done a video like just by myself to kind of talking to you guys but it's been, i've been so behind on like recording the vlogs like i've had you know my interview that i did kind of a quick vlog on before then i had graduation come up i've been getting kind of behind because we've been doing so much stuff but uh the school's out for the summer super excited about that really happy that i'm done with school i still have to take my internship but you know i'll tell you more about that later so i got a new setup i, th I think i'll show you guys my new setup right now i'm vlogging off my nikon d 3300 i'm so excited to have this I, I can't tell you what lens it is to be honest it was on the box but i already threw the box away so i don't know but it's the one that comes with it it's not it's not a step i think there's like the 3500 that's out now and popular so it's two steps below that but it's still a really good camera as you can see or well, hopefully you can see i have my pjs on because i'm about to go to bed sorry i look kind of ratchet the makeup's off got my pjs on i just wanted to test out my new setup uh today i went to a garage sale you know yesterday i woke up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom and uh what really happened was I was like, you know what? I went to bed early for once and I was like, you know what? I'm not really tired. So I stayed up for 30 minutes and just like looked on Craigslist and eBay because that's what I do. I was looking for deals. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let's look for a tripod because before I was on Craigslist and I looked for a tripod. And this dude was like, okay, yeah, you can pick it up. And then he was like, oh, wait, it's Mother's Day. Can you pick it up tomorrow? I was like, okay, cool. It's Mother's Day. I asked you, but okay, you can do what you want to do. That's cool. I can't be like, no, give me a tripod on Mother's Day. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. Then tomorrow came, and then he was like, oh, sorry, I took a nap. He was like, um, but you can come now. And I was like, okay, can you give me your address so I can come? I was like, if you don't want to meet me at your house, because you don't want to give it out. For some reason, he's like, never gave me his address, and I asked for it like three or four times. I was like, if you don't want to give it out, you can just, you know, meet me at a local place. Just tell me where you want me to meet you, basically. I'm not trying to kill you or nothing. Just tell me where you want me to meet you. And then um, I asked for his address, and he never responded. So I was like, and it was like my one free day out of the week. So I was like, screw this. Like, he's just being annoying. Then the next day, he was like, oh, okay, you can come pick it up now. Nah, I'm good. So anyway, I, I looked up Craigslist, and I actually found a tripod. It was one at a garage sale, which I didn't see this coming, but people who have garage sales on Craigslist usually put up, like, the key things that they're selling. And somebody was selling a camera tripod for two dollars like i can't wait till i show you guys this tripod i'll actually have to take my camera off the tripod to show you the tripod so i'm not going to show you like right now i'm going to wait till i finish talking but um yeah i went to get this tripod and like i found a lot of different things i found accidentally like some picture frames that are like eight by tens and they're easy to hang there's basically no border to it which i think is kind of cool and modern so i might hang those up and then I also went in there and I instantly saw like a potato cutter for like french fries. And Bay said she really wanted one of those because she likes making her own handmade fries. So I was like, okay, I gotta get this. I've been in a doghouse lately with her. And she just like, I don't put as much effort into our relationship or I don't think about her as much as she thinks about me. Which may be true sometimes. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm an only child. So it's kind of hard for me to get used to this whole like sharing thing but I'm getting better and uh, since I've been in a doghouse I brought that back for her and she was really excited so I think I'm getting out of there and I think I'm improving just take some some time I mean I've been the only child for I'm 23 years old now so for 23 years so it's kind of hard and it just takes some time but I'm definitely getting less selfish which I'm proud of because I mean selfish people are usually kind of assholes and I don't want to be that person so yeah, okay, so back to what I got at the garage sale. I got that potato cutter, got the picture frames. One I'm probably going to put in my office of, like, me and Bay, Like, get a nice picture of me and Bay. And the other one I'll probably, like, hang up and put my graduation photo in. And then I got, what else? Oh, and I got a camera bag because the lady was like, oh, do you do photography? I was like, yeah, I'm just starting. She was like, oh, did you see the camera bag? And I was like, no. Great camera bag for $2. Once again, I'll probably show you like some B-roll of this right now so you can see what it is. But it's a really nice camera bag and I didn't have one. So I was just kind of carrying my camera around, which is really not a good thing to do. Because one, people can rob you. Two, you can like accidentally drop it and fuck up the lens, you know. So it's padded and everything. That's cool. And the last thing I got was a Swiffer sweeper upper thing. I don't know what you call it. But it was a Swiffer mop thing. 
and uh, it was only a dollar and it's like I can't pass this up and I went to the bank and I only got ten dollars out because I knew the tripod was five and I was like okay we just gonna burn five extra dollars because I tend to go crazy with sales and I spent all five but I got like really good useful things and this tripod I got was originally $45. Now it's supposed to be a fluid head in both directions but right now it's just a fluid head in the up and down direction because it's missing the screw for the left and right direction but um, I can go to Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's and get a screw that fit. Well I plan on just taking it in to be like can you guys give me a screw that fits this and they'll probably give it to me because those guys are right there. I don't know how people know so much about DIY stuff. Speaking of DIY, like I've recently took on the DIY project of my own because I've been cleaning up and I realized there's no place to put this shit. Like we have so much shit and it's really not that much but it's just it's two of us and it's two girls at that which makes it harder. But we also have like a 640 square foot apartment, something like that, give or take. And that's not a lot. We don't have a lot of space. So I took upon doing this DIY, I mean not workshop, but I don't know what you would call it. I took upon myself DIY project, that's what it is. I can never think of words. But I took upon myself this uh, DIY project of building shelves. And I was going to go to Home Depot and get like a power drill and like, you know, actually get some anchors and drill stuff into the wall, which my apartment complex is okay with that. But uh, getting a drill alone is like $20 and I'm on a strict budget right now because I have to get my teeth fixed and I got to get my car fixed and I got to take time off next month to go to my friend's wedding, which I'm super excited about, but it's just like bad timing because I got to go this Saturday. I'm going to her bridal shower, which is cool, but it was kind of last minute and I didn't plan for it and it's like, uh, but I mean, I can't not go because it's my best friend. So I'm definitely going to go. I'm going to have a good time and I'm kind of glad I get to day drink and not have to go to work in the morning. But back to this DIY project, like it actually went amazingly well. I didn't have to get a power tool. I went on YouTube, which I know I should have did that first off, but it took me a minute of like brainstorming in here. And I was like, you know, why don't we go on YouTube? And there's people who actually like hang shelves and like totes and stuff with command hooks. And I watched a video, 37 useful things to do with command hooks or whatever to organize your life. And oh my God, there's so much you can do. So you guys need to watch that video. I might like actually put the link in the description. But that video, like, that got me off the doghouse too. I can't wait to show you guys what I did. It's right over here. But basically I organized our like our makeup section. And literally I already had the hooks because I just set up this green screen. And I already had the green felt for my green screen. It's just that I needed a way to hook it up. And I knew tape wasn't going to hold it or maybe it would but it might ruin my wall. So what I did is I got, I got some command hooks and I just put them on the top on my bedroom wall so I can have a removable green screen so when I want to do videos like when I want videos like this you guys can still look at something cool in the background but you know I don't have to leave my house which is great because sometimes me and Bear are lazy and we just don't want to do anything so I already have the command hooks because I have those up here so when I want to like put my green screen up I can put it up when I want to take it down I can take it down because Bear was like you're not having that green screen in the room all the time I'm like no of course I'm not who wants to look? And I'll show you guys right now. Who wants to look at that? Like while you're going to sleep. I mean, the color green and the green screen is ugly as hell. So, back to like my DIY project. I did, I hung up a dollar store like organizational tote with command hooks. And I only had two more left. So, I couldn't do much. Excuse you. Um, it's my bedtime. I'm almost done. <laughs> How are you just gonna drag the fan in here? I'm in the middle of my vlog. That's not like a personal problem. Okay, well, um, anyway, I guess it's base bedtime. She's about to kick me out of my room. You had time to get, you was the one sitting on the couch. I gave you plenty of time. Okay, well, hopefully my battery didn't die because I've been talking for a long time and it was only one. But about nothing. You know what I've been talking about? 
Nothing. You? So you nothing though? You won't be talking about me. Yes, I am. No, I just told you what you couldn't do. But you better not be talking about me. Why can't I talk about my baby? I don't want to be talking. Anywho, y'all. I'll show you that. And then I'll show you what I got from the garage sale. And that's pretty much it. I didn't even get to talk about how I got my job, though. Well, you've been here a long time, so that's not a personal problem. Okay, and then last off, I actually landed the job. That's what you get for being an a-hole. I landed the job. It took like two days. I went in there. She said it was for a meeting, and then these guys offered me a position. Oh my gosh, <laughs> babe, <laughs> really? I'm getting my night stuff re routine oh, <laughs> set up. You nigga rigged it? Yeah, because it keep falling down for some reason. <laughs> she got tape on this fan. <laughs> and it's not even like good duct tape. It's a cheap ass dollar star tape. Okay, we good. Okay, so back to the job. Um, Yeah, I actually landed the job. I didn't really have faith that I was going to get it. Like, I was like, I have a good shot, but there's other candidates. So I wasn't really, like, too excited about it. But <laughs> she come with more tape, y'all. I'm not lying. She was putting more tape on this fan. But, uh, why are you distracting me? You know I had ADHD. Girl, come on. You got one minute left. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. Look at this. Why you look like you was just working in the corner and you had to run a mile because your pimp was chasing you? <laughs> okay. So, long story short, you know, I got the job. I've been there for like two weeks. I've already put out like an ad on Facebook for 156 pages. And basically I just do video, I edit videos, anything they want me to do. So they have like a corporate video they send out to everybody for corporate to watch. Like not even just corporate, but you know, managers and sales floor people. I don't know what you call it, sales people. I think you just call them sales people. Sales people, just so they can learn how to like sell stuff better. Or it's just basically a video newsletter, so. She about to get slapped. This is just a video newsletter that I do. And then I also put like the slides up in the break room. So usually people, they use like PowerPoint. And it was super boring. But I spiced it up a little bit. And added some cool gifts. Which made it funny. Which made it funny. And now I'm working on a pretty big project. Because I'm trying to get full time. I'm not there yet. I'm really close. But I'm trying to get full time. So I decided to put a little bit of extra work in there. So I can get it. And hopefully I impress my boss. I started working on a project today. And I hope he's just happy with the initiative that I'm taking and I'm actually really excited about the project it's not just something like I'm doing it just to kiss his ass but I'm really excited about the project and hopefully I can show you guys once it's done I don't know if it's going to be released to like the public so I don't really know if I can do that but still really excited about it I'm going to go now because baby is giving me the evil eyes